the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Three years apart, some differences in height and reach. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Van Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Greco Roman wrestler, holding a professional record of 19 wins, four losses. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Chris Chapo! All right, you can lose in the locker room. You want to be my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. You want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back to your corners, come out fighting. I am very fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming. The fans have been anticipating this for a long time, and it is going to go down the right now. We are ready to go with round one here. Well, what a visual this is. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one, the founding father of modern mixed martial arts. It's hard to simulate his speed and his striking in training, and I think that's something that has been a big focus for the opponent coming in here tonight. Quick with his hands, quick with his feet, and obviously a guy who gets off to a very good start more often than not. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one. Right hand upstairs. The first round is underway here. You gotta watch out for this fighter's powerful overhand punches can do damage from both sides. And even when fighters know what's coming, oftentimes they are unable to stop. Really missed with that right hand. He's got wow. good accuracy in that jab. Oh, he's got him hurt here. Hard uppercut to the head. He hurt him with that hook. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now and clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. And that punch, no good. Really swung for the fences with that hook, but misses. Tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Chakra. And the kick lands. Oh, man, this could be it. Back up to his feet. Oh, he might be out. Well, I know he's confident in his chin, Joe, but he left his head wide open for that returning hook there. It would be wise to start moving his feet, get on the tips of his toes. Oh! This could be it right here. Didn't quite connect. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Wow! You can tell that shot hurt him bad in the body. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Well, it's one 
thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Almost hits him with that left hook. Good defense there. Seconds now to go in round one. How about that shin? That one hurt. He got cracked to the head there, Joe. He's gonna have to change things up here with his footwork, with his tempo. He continues to be vulnerable to that strike coming back. Gotta get his head off the center line. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Oh, he landed it. Oh, he just missed with that straight left hand, Joe. Wow! Wow! He hurt him with that punch in the clinch. And now starting to snap off that jab. Oh, slips to avoid the right. Good punch. Second round, straight ahead. All right, there's the horn. What a round it was. Back and forth we go. Both fighters landed knockdown strikes in that round. We'll see which corner can maximize these 60 seconds between frames. This round, let's go back out there and look to finish them off. Here's a perfect kick to the body. Here's a powerful punch that results in a knockdown. Here's a devastating kick that results in a knockdown. Jenny Andrade to get us going. Okay, ready? Round two? You ready? All right, round two. He's definitely gonna wanna start this round off fast and try to pick up where he left off. His opponent was in big trouble at the end of that round. Really threw a lot of power into that uppercut, but missed. Well, he has landed. Oh! oh! He is stumbling. Hook hits home. Well, that'll quiet the storm. Shot blocked by Jocko. Oh! Another shot lands upstairs. Excellent axe kick. Shoots the head. Jocko gets caught by the inside leg. Oh, he missed that kick. Jocko's strike attempt there is blocked. And there he swung with a haymaker. That's again nice the experience. He is in big trouble here. He's wincing in pain. What a jab. He's going after the head. Oh. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. He's rocked. Three minutes remain in the round. 
attempts a big hook to the head, but misses. Lee's strike attempt there is blocked. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his strike. That one appeared to stun him. He's very wobbly. He's trying to hang on. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night, he found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. And let's see that again. Right on the button. Well, what a moment for him here tonight. A huge knockout on one of the sport's biggest stages. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Here's Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliano has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 57 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Chris So there's the man of the moment, just the way he drew it up here tonight as he gets his hand raised and does so emphatically by way of the KO. Perhaps some bonus money is coming his way at the end of the night, I'm not sure. Still a few fights to go, but at the very least, you can be sure his next fight will be a big one, and he will celebrate deep into the night with his teammates, his coaches, and his friends after this monumental victory here under the bright lights tonight.